Hi everyone, welcome to January. This is going to be my first video of the new year and I'm really excited. It's going to be a small haul of things that I bought just before Christmas or just after Christmas. It's not a Christmas haul um, and I'm not going to be showing you my Christmas presents purely because I didn't really open enough to be able to warrant a video, if that makes sense. Um, purely because I was unemployed over Christmas so a lot of people gave us money which was really generous of them to sort of help us through the bills and things. So instead I'm just going to be showing you the bits I picked up myself before Christmas or after Christmas and there isn't that many to be honest with you. Also my hair was in pink curls last night hence why it's crazy because my hair's curly anyway so um, I'm really sorry if it annoys you or I start like brushing it back constantly it's just in my way today so I'm going to start with a brand you all know I love and that's MUA now they had a 40% um, discount just before Christmas for their 40,000 um, Facebook fans so I picked up a few things I picked up the MUA undressed palette is it the undressed I keep getting it confused with the heaven and earth one um, basically because I really wanted the naked palette and this was the best dupe for it that I could find, reviews and swatches and things. Anyway, turns out Dave bought me the Naked 2 for Christmas, so thank you very much baby for that. Um, so this is lying a bit redundant at the moment, but I still do use it as you can see. Um, I'm, I'm using a lot of the lighter shades more. Can you see that? Um, and I will be doing a review on it on my blog. I think it's lovely. I think for £4 you can't go wrong with this palette. And then the next two things I picked up in that sort of percentage off sale type thing are the Every Lash Volume and Lengthening Mascara from MUA obviously because it was the MUA sale and then um, the MUA Gel Eyeliner in On and no On The Go or On The Move I don't know I think it's On The Move yeah and um, basically this mascara is raved about and I hate it I can't get on with it at all it takes about four um, coats for it to even like make my lashes stand out at all not look natural um, or not like bare, for example, not natural. I, I want it to look natural, but I don't want it to look bare. Um, the brush is wonky. I mean, can you see that? It like bends to one side. I don't know if that's just mine or not, but I was not impressed with that. I was like, why is it bending? I don't understand. And then this is just, um, I really got into gel liner just before um, December and over December. And I thought, yeah, I want a brown one because I want it to look more natural when I put mine on. I'm wearing black today, but I like to wear brown for like interviews, for job interviews and for work and things like that because I think it looks a bit more natural. Um, and I bought this and it's really dry. It's really hard to manoeuvre with a brush, which is game over for me as far as I'm concerned. I want easy because I am intrinsically lazy when it comes to my makeup. And not only that, it's got like little sort of purpley glitter in it and I was like no so unfortunately two of those items were a big waste of money but the palette was really really you know spot on I can't fault that and then to go with the prime um, to go with the primer to go with the palette I bought the primer and I bought that from my local super drug and um, I think this is like £2.50 you can't really go wrong it literally does not let your makeup crease at all I love this primer so much especially as I'm just getting into eyeshadows a lot more as well especially with my urban decays and things now um I do need a primer but I don't want to go full out and buy 14 pounds worth of um urban decay primer potion I think that's how much it is I'm not sure so £2.50 for me fantastic this is actually my second one um because I, I use it all day every day I can't I you know I can't fault this stuff my first one went missing so I've had to buy it again um, but yeah, I love this. I can't recommend this highly enough. Next, I have two more eye products actually, and they're both eyeliners. Um, me and pencil eyeliners really don't get on, basically because I am useless. I mean, I've got an A in art, but I can't draw on my face to save my life. Um, so what I, I watched a couple of YouTube videos and I can't remember the YouTuber who did it, but basically she used to, um, well, what she does is she uses the curl on her eyes and then she gets a brush and like um, evens it out and draws it on like that. And I found that that is perfect for me. I can do that. It takes me a while. I'm not mastered in it yet, but it, you know, that's brilliant for me. So I bought the Rimmel Soft Curl Kajal Eyeliner Pencil in Sable Brown and that's number 11 and it's this really really like natural pretty um 
brown and it just sits on the eye beautifully it doesn't come off you know it's easy to maneuver with a brush i can't fault this at all i don't like rimmel as a brand i never have but they're starting to really grow on me because i've also bought the scandalized waterproof colker gel um in number five nude and i actually made lisa's luxuries like want this i was like oh my god you need to have it it's amazing and i think i bought it for her or she bought it when she was with me. I think I bought it for her actually. Um, and Because I was like, no, you need it in your life. Because I have really small eyes, so I want my eyes to look bigger. And this is a little less obvious than white. I've used white before because I've got a couple of the natural collection white ones. But they look so obvious. And I know the 60s are going to be in this year, like 60s eye makeup and stuff. But I'm, I'm past that now. <laughs> I can't be doing that trend. So I thought, yes, okay, fair enough, I'll get this. And I can't fault it, honestly. I think it's a MAC dupe. Someone someone told me it was a MAC dupe. Um, and But I don't know about that, but it's brilliant. I can't fault it. So I suggest you get one of these. And for 3 99 I think this is 3 99 this is 3 99 uh, 2 3 99 I'm not sure. Um, you know, it's not a waste of money if you don't like them. So I love those. Right, on to number seven, I think. Number seven is a brand that I have readily available in my town. There seems to be an, a mass of number seven products and very little else in the boots that we have in Leek. So um, I just bought some beautiful skin wipes because I need some wipes for when I need to take off swatches and things. I bought some Lash and Brow Perfector and I'm using this for my brows. As you can see, I haven't really used that much of it, but it is relatively new. I wanted a brow gel because these get unruly <laughs> and um, I want them to stay in place while I'm at work because I've just got a new job. So I thought I need to get a brow gel because I've been using Dave's VO5 <laughs> and uh, that stuff does not come off easily. <laughs> like this glue to your face. So I thought I'd best get the proper thing and it's got this tiny little wand, which is perfect for just, I'll do it now actually, going through your brows. Um, and I'm sure it'll turn brown at some point because I use brown powder on my um, eyebrows but at the moment it's clear and it's perfect and I really really like this. Um, I will list all of the um, prices below as I usually do with things because at the moment my mind is just woo everywhere I'm just trying to get through this video. Um, the next thing was this number seven what is it? Number seven, Stay Perfect Lipstick, and it's in Glacé, and it's this really strange purpley sort of colour um, with like a gold shimmer in it. I wasn't sure about it, to be honest, but it, um, I thought, why not? You don't get anywhere unless you don't try it. And obviously you can't really try it in the store on your lips because it's so unhygienic, so I thought, I'll buy it, um, and I'll see how I like it. I'm not sure about it, I think it makes me look older than I should be older than I should look rather but um yeah I quite like this it's okay I like the formula more than anything so I might go and purchase a few more um but in different colours colours that suit me rather than this I'm not sure let me know there'll be a blog post going up on it anyway after that we have obviously two more Revlon just bed and kissable balm stains and I've got mine in crush and honey I really like these I'm wearing crush at the moment actually um Pure, and I, I've mentioned before how much I like these. For a chubby stick rip off, they're perfect. Um, and they're on offer at the moment for £5 in boots, so along with the lip butters. So I would suggest you hot foot it down there and get yourself some. Um, yeah, I've talked about these at length before, so I'm not going to bother with them now. But honestly, I love these. Then I have already blogged about these, but I thought I'd include them anyway because it's part of what I bought. Um, the Fashionista blushes that I got, I got one in New York, I got one in Blushing, which is a pretty colour, I got one in Amber Glow, and I got one in Flush, and I've already blogged about these, so I'll link them below. I love Fashionista blushes, I think they're brilliantly pigmented, you don't need a lot of product on your brush, they blend so easily, oh I can't, honestly, if I only had to choose one brand for blush for the rest of my life, it would be Fashionista. Um, and I think they're £4 each, so they're, you know, they're brilliant value as well. Next up, right, we've run out of makeup now, so next up, I just decided randomly to buy myself the Herbal Essences to loose me softly, soft waves intensive mask. Because I have naturally curly wavy hair, um, I thought it might, you know, help to sort of sort them out. Um, and someone recommended it to me, 
was it Lola and Behold? I'm not sure, but I'll link her below as well because she's ace. Um, and it smells amazing. It smells gorgeous. It's got wild violet and pomegranate extracts. Now, I don't like violet, but this is really, really nice. So, um, and it says, wave hello to luscious swirls and goodbye to flyaways. I'll transport you all the way to tumbling to loose treasures. A soft touch, you, definitely. Well, not a soft touch, but <laughs> as long as my hair is, I don't mind. So, um, yeah, it seems to be working, but this is pink curled, like I said. I should probably do a proper review on it soon, but I do rate Herbal Essences as a brand. I think they are really good. So, I'm excited to see, like, how this progresses. I have used some of it already, but as normal conditioner, because I ran out of my old conditioner. So, to use this as a mask, I'm going to sort of put, put it on for, like, an hour and see what happens. After that, we have the Nip and Fab Mango Smoothie Dry Skin Fix Body Butter. I love Nip and Fab Body Butters. They are fantastic. I won my first one, the Pistachio Sunday from Grace from All That Slap on a Twitter giveaway. And honestly, I can't fault it. Grace, by the way, is lovely. If you haven't checked out her blog, please do. And she's ever so friendly on Twitter as well, so I suggest you follow her because she's lovely. But um, the pistachio sundae is quite nutty, really sweet flavour. So I thought, mm, you know, what are the other ones like? Because they come in four different scents. Cherry tart, coconut latte, mango smoothie and pistachio sundae. Um, so I thought I'd pick up the small um, version of the mango smoothie. And you thought the... <laughs> I said the pistachio sundae was sweet. This is sweet. I've used most of it already. Oh, it's just like, it's like smelling a freshly made mango smoothie. Honestly, it is. It's like, whoo! I put it on and Dave's like, man, you stink. But in a good way, not like in a bad way. Um, he can smell me. And when I opened it in the car when I first got it, because it was 2 95 from Boots, when I first got it, he was like, Jesus Christ. Because <laughs> he could smell it just from me opening the the pot um and i can't wait to try the other ones i really want to try cherry tart but if this is sweet i can imagine that is like eye wateringly sweet and i'm not a big fan of coconut scents shock horror because most people are so um i'll have to give this a go um i'll have to give the cherry one a go but yeah this is really nice i can't recommend this highly enough and it just sinks in beautifully i love these body butters i love them and then we have just a random tiny can of Batiste Cherry. Fruity and cheeky. Well, I wanted to try this scent because um, everyone's been raving about it, basically. So I tried it and, yeah, it's really nice. Um, but it just does what Batiste usually does. The scent isn't that different, really. It doesn't really smell like cherries, per se. It just smells like fruity. Um, but not like in the tropical pineapple coconut sort of sense, in the sort of fruit bowl sense. Does that make sense? I'm saying sense a lot right now. Um, so that was, I think it was like £1.50 or something. It was on offer anyway, um, in Boots again, just before Christmas. So I tried it. I've still got a little bit left. Um, and it's good to take away. It's a nice little size, so I'll put it in my handbag. And then finally, while I lean back and try and get my stuff, um, some soap and glory products that I picked up. My good friend Zoe, the loveliness that she is, bought me a £15 boots voucher for Christmas, which is ironic because I got her a boots voucher too. Um, so I hot footed it to the bigger soap and glory section, which is in Macclesfield. Lisa took me, and I was on the hunt for Peaches and Clean. And this is a 4 in 1 wash off deep cleansing milk. I've already reviewed it on my blog, I will link it below. Um, basically, I am in love with this stuff. Uh, I bought two there and then, and I've got a third one now waiting in the cupboard because you can't get it where I live, so I, I need to stock up just in case I run out. I will be taking this on holiday with me when I go skiing. I think it's just beautiful. It's perfect. It smells really funny, though. It's not like... It's not like the usual Soap and Glory scent. It's more of a um, minty, sort of peachy minty scent, so... Might be worth smelling first if you're a bit funny with smells like me, but I really, really like this. Can't recommend it highly enough. And then I bought the the Fab Pour Hot Cloth Cleanser because Open Glory was on three for two, so I thought, you know what, I'll buy myself three cleansers like you know normal people do. Um, and I really, <laughs> just so you know, I'm not normal. Um, just like I really like this as well. It does smell like herbal. 
but not like over herbal if you know what I mean some like hot cloth cleanse are small really really herbal and it's really off-putting but this is actually quite nice and it's quite floral as well because there's lavender in there um so I, I recommend this as well if you prefer your hot cloth cleansers to your normal cleanses um I really really like that as well and then last but by the main, no means least Oh, that's falling off as well. I'm not having a good day today with this, am I? Um, I got the Kick-Ass Concealer, the Soap and Glory Kick-Ass Clean Concealer, and this was £10, which seems like quite a lot of money for a concealer, but when you open up the little packet, the packaging, packet? Oh, I can't get my words out today. Um, you've got the little transparent powder there, and then if it'll open, you've got a tiny little mirror there, and then you've got, on one side, you've got as you can see it's been well used um one for like under eye circles and then one for normal blemishes uh i didn't apply it properly today hence why you can see my blemish here and my blemish here and probably the blemishes here um it's not been a good skin week um basic but basically um it's like a little three-step thing and it's perfect for traveling with and i really rate this a lot of people have said oh it's sticky oh, i don't like it well i really like it and um i know quite a few of the more prominent YouTubers like it. I know that shouldn't really dictate your opinion, you should try something for yourself, but um, I did try it for myself and I do really like it. So um, I think it's one of them products that everyone's gonna sort of swing from side to side with. Um, but I really, really like that. So yeah, that was my haul and it was massive according to the time. I hope you all had um, a good time watching it. Is that even normal to say? I don't know. And um, I will see you in my next video. Have a good day. <laughs>